Hi, welcome to our show. We wanted to teach you how to make some yummy, easy cookies. But I'm missing somebody. I'm missing a helper. Where's my helper? <laughs> oh, there he is. Is Carson going to help me? <laughs> okay, go get a chair, buddy. We are going to make what we lovingly refer to as gorilla poop cookies. And Carson is always the one that helps me make them. So it's so fitting that he's my helper right now. There you go, buddy. What are we making? Gorilla poops. Yeah. And he is always the one that helps me. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on my oven, my stove top, because these are no-bake. These are actually really no-bake chocolate cookies. We just call them gorilla poops, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, first, Carson is an expert at these, so he's going to tell us how to do it. First, we're going to put in what? Butter. Okay, let's get that butter in there. We're going to get that a little bit melted. All right, now that the butter's a little bit melted, we're going to add, what are we going to add next? Sugar. And you're going to do it. You go for it. Sugar. Lots of sugar. Ooh, that's sticking. Let's get it all out, shall we? Stir the sugar in. You're going to stir it? Okay, go for it. And what are we going to add next? Chalk. Uh, chocolate. Chocolate. This is the cocoa powder that makes some chocolate. Good job, Carr. Isn't he great? <laughs> okay, we need a little more fluid in there. What do we have? Milk. Milk. Dump that milk in there. Very good. Now we're going to stir it up. Let me get this the bottom done and then you can take over. Oopsie. <laughs> now we're going to stir this up and cook it. And my sister has kind of taken the guesswork out of the, you know, the softball stage, the hardball stage. She's figured it out to a science. You get it boiling to a full rolling boil and you set the timer for five minutes and they'll turn out perfect every time. <laughs> if you've ever had a problem with them not setting up or them being too hard like we have, we appreciated the five minute rule. So we're just going to let this get to a boil and cook away, aren't we? You want to keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So what do you like about these cookies, Carson? The chocolate. The chocolate? That's my favorite part, too. <laughs> you know what else I like about them? What? I like that they're done really fast. They're like a 10-minute cookie. 10 minutes and you got cookies. <laughs> Top. You are so good at it. And you know what else I like about them? What? I like that you help me make them. <laughs> Mom, you forgot the salt. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You remembered. Okay, it's boiling now, so we're going to set our timer for five minutes. Right, Carson? Mm -hmm. And we'll be eating cookies in five minutes. Well, maybe six. We'll give it one minute to cool, won't we? Mm -hmm. Just one minute, though. Mom, it beeped. Oh, it beeped. It's done. So now we're going to turn off the stove and we're going to remove it from the heat and we're going to add our vanilla that makes it yummy. You pour it. You pour it. Yummy. We doubled it, so we'll add a little bit more. And we're going to add what's well, next. Uh, what's next? The oats. The oats. There we go. Stir that up, little buddy. It There you go. Now, let me see it for just a second. Now that this is all stirred up, we're going to plop it onto some wax paper or some tin foil, and we're going to make it look as much like Gorilla Poop as we can. Ooh, isn't that gross? <laughs> the boys love it. There you go. Be careful, baby. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> now, a little variation I do on these is I do half the batch just plain, and I do half the batch after I've 
scooped out half of it, I add some peanut butter because some of my family like it with peanut butter and some of them don't. So after I scoop out about half of these, I'm going to add probably about half a cup of peanut butter. I just add a couple tablespoons full and they're very delicious that way too. There's a good gorilla poop for you. <laughs> Thus the name. Now I'm going to add a couple big tablespoons of peanut butter just to make them a little bit different. I like them both ways, so I'm the lucky one. And now we just plop them on the paper and wait for them to sit up, just like the other ones. All right, now the peanut butter ones are gonna set up right away. You can start enjoying them now. The, the plain ones, you just have to wait until they're completely cooled before they'll set up. So let's take a bite of the peanut butter ones and show them how good they are. Let's see. Did they turn out? Yum! Yum! They're always a big hit, and we hope you enjoy them. Oh, lift me up. I'm Alice. And I'm Patty. And we're here to talk to you today about what it is we do. We're the authors of the weekly Cook and Club newsletter. We spend a lot of time researching mm. and, and finding information that's going to make life easier for you in the kitchen. One of our columns that I think you, you would love is the less muss, less fuss. I love that. We make life easier for you in the kitchen. We'll organize you. We'll get you streamlined. And you know when life's easier in the kitchen, what? We enjoy cooking more and mm -hmm. we do more of it. Absolutely. And there's more free time to do other things as well. And one of the things that you could get as you become a Cooking Club newsletter member is you get a free monthly download. Mm. Now this is electronic recipes. As I love that. Anywhere from a hundred to a thousand. And so you can start building up your repertoire oh, of recipes. That's right. Do it today. Join the Cooking Club newsletter. We'll be looking for you. Thanks. Bye-bye.